Time shared on the water with friends and family can create memories that last a lifetime. Whether you're in the captain's seat or riding behind the boat, these experiences can open new doors that will help you make the most out of every summer. I'm Dylan. And I'm Caro. Together, we're going to walk you through the basics of towed water sports to help you unlock a new level of confidence so you can make the most of every minute on the water and go boldly into each adventure that comes your way. Getting up on a wakeboard for the first time is something almost anyone can do. If you've never tried it, it might seem like it requires a lot of strength, but technique is much more important than how strong you are. We've both been wakeboarding for well over 15 years and have taught many people the proper technique. Between the two of us, we've seen nearly every commonly made mistake. So we've combined our knowledge and are going to run you through some of the main things you should and shouldn't focus on to make sure your wakeboarding experience is a smooth operation. Now be sure to wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket of the proper size. Also make sure it's the correct type for toe sports. This information is usually printed on the inside of the vest. Wearing a proper life jacket will help you concentrate on enjoying your time on the water instead of worrying about staying afloat. If the boat you're using has a swim platform like this one, we recommend using the platform while you get strapped into the bindings. First, make sure the engine is off, then set the board down with the toes pointed out to the lake. Doing it this way will make it much easier to get in the water. Before putting the bindings on, it's always a good idea to lift them in the water. This will make it much easier to slide your feet in. Most bindings have a strap on the back side to help push your heel down, which definitely comes in handy. Once you're strapped in, go ahead and cinch them down, being sure not to over tighten. When you're ready to get in the water, I suggest sitting on the platform to slide in board first. When you get in the lake strapped into a wakeboard for the first time, I know it can be a bit intimidating, but the more relaxed you are, the easier it will be, I promise. Now that you're in, grab the handle and keep the bottom of your board facing toward the boat. The rope should rest in the center of the board between your bindings. As the rope starts to get tight, your posture is very important. Remember, knees bent, arms out. Concentrate on keeping the handle center between your shoulders with your arms extended and your knees bent as much as possible. Imagine you're sitting on the ground and a friend is reaching down to give you a hand up. If you straighten your legs too soon, it will make standing up much more difficult. So don't rush standing up. You can stay in the knees bent, arms out position with your chest facing the boat for much longer than you think. The harder you work to pull yourself up, the more difficult you'll make it. Let the boat pull you. Don't think about pulling yourself. When the boat begins to pull you, let the board sink below your body while holding that same posture. As you gain speed, make sure to keep the board slightly in front of you. This will ensure the board keeps rising toward the water surface. Think of the board slicing through the water as it rises. Once you're up on top of the water and in control of the board, pivot the handle to your lead hip. If you've snowboarded, surfed, or skateboarded in the past, you'll probably know which foot forward you are. If not, an easy way to find out is to have a friend give you a nudge in the back. Whichever foot you naturally step forward with is most likely the foot you should have in front while wakeboarding. Now I know we told you to keep your arms out while getting up, but that's going to change once you're up on top of the water. Try to keep the handle as close to your lead hip as possible with your chest up and your knees bent. I like to call this riding posture. You will continue to use this body position as your riding progresses. Whether you're a beginner or a professional, it will never let you down. Once you've mastered getting up on the board and feel comfortable riding in a straight line, make sure you spend a good amount of time turning back and forth on both sides of the wake. This will help you understand how the board reacts in different situations. Learning these basics early on will definitely accelerate your learning curve. Once you're able to get up and are used to the board, you can start trying to learn some simple tricks. Carol and I picked out an easy one to get you going. The Surface 180 is one of my favorite tricks to teach beginners. It's a great building block that will help open the doors to learning much more in the future. When learning a new trick, it's always a good idea to have the boat moving at a slow speed. This will reduce impact on falls and make the learning experience much more enjoyable. So let's give one a try. Get yourself positioned directly behind the boat, centered between both wakes. Once you're comfortably in riding posture, you're simply going to pivot your handle to your opposite hip while making sure to keep the handle as close to your waistline as possible. If you let the handle stray away from your body, there's a good chance that you'll fall. There's no need to rush. Pivoting the handle from hip to hip should be one slow, smooth motion. Halfway through the 180, your chest is going to be facing directly at the boat. At this point, you can apply a bit more pressure to your heels. This will help stop you from falling forward. After the 180 is complete, make sure to level out and maintain equal pressure between your heels and toes. Once you have that mastered, the progression of your riding can go in any direction you'd like. 
But like we mentioned earlier, learning how to control the board should be your top priority, especially before you start attempting more difficult tricks. It's important to remember that everyone learns at a different pace. Whether you get up on your fifth attempt or 20th, don't get discouraged. If you get tired, take a breather and let someone else try. All good things are worth working for. If you're having trouble getting up on the board, be patient and don't forget to enjoy the process. We hope you found these tips helpful and that your next wakeboard experience keeps you coming back for more. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Boating Basics presented by Mercury Marine.